What's up guys? Got the motor home, locked all down, about to hit the road. Where are we going, babe? We are going to Calgary. <laughs> no, not Calgary. Kegel. Kegel, that's it. We're going to Kegel Park, which is about an hour from here towards uh, Lake Con Conroe. And uh, it's my birthday on Monday, so this is a birthday voyage. And uh, these new fans are rocking. Just got a like, little hair action going here so you can see. <laughs> and we're very, very excited. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I mean, how many times am I gonna say that? He was. Bounce out on a big adventure. My buddy Dan is get on here. We were hanging a bar, hanging out like rock stars. We got the flag, put the matter of that on the Nissan truck with the tan backside. Had to throw it out of gear. Getting out of here when we push it on top this song. Pop the clutch and let it go. Nobody gonna stop us. Nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know. I said, hey there, mister, won't you just a Give another man a helping hand We need to jump on pushing the bump Or we'll be out of your way Driving down the highway Danny's got a girl on the plane We got Dead Sin City Take a family aid Take her down to the boulevard Watch her feet push hard When we push it on top this hill Pop the clutch and let it go And nobody gonna stop us well, Nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know So when we push it on top this hill Hop inside and shut the door Nobody gonna stop us well, Nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know No, 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 nobody Nobody gonna stop us well, See, Danny boy, I had a couple of tries and we were driving away on the Florida interstate. We had gas in the Vegas Hall Pass. In the air, we were super fly, so fast. With little money on an overcast Sunday, we were driving away, driving down the highway. The kind of light it was still in time. Oh, my, my, I gotta get it back to the five. Find a good and hard. Man, I wish this thing would start. So when we push it on top this hill, pop the clutch and let it go. Nobody gonna stop us. Well, nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know. So when we push it on top this hill, hop inside and shut that door. Nobody gonna stop us. Well, nobody gonna ever, gonna ever know. No, 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 What's up? We're here. 
<laughs> so this is our first time hooking up at a campground. So we're going to film it in case there's any issues. <laughs> we wanted to be able to show you guys that. This is for the other air conditioner. <laughs> so this campground, Kegel Recreational area, it's twenty-seven dollars a night. Comes with picnic table, fire pit. And um, of course the water hookup and electric and also the, I guess you call it sewage or where you can dump your black tank. I just heard the fan of the air conditioner come on. So that's a good sign. Right behind us here, it looked like when we pulled onto Sweet Gum, there was a walking trail. We're going to try to check that out. I think that's potentially what this is behind us the areas that were facing the water were already reserved or taken you can call or call or go online and reserve a spot but you have to do it within two days before you intend to be there I suppose because we went online before we came out and you have to restart you can't reserve until the 18th today's the 16th so but it was walk, walk in, first come, first serve. So. <laughs> first time hooking up water, wish us luck. Now the true test is inside. <laughs> Let me go make sure everything's off. Okay. Come on guys. Let's go check it out inside. Air conditioner's on and going. Inside, buddy. Go on, inside. Leo's like, I'm ready for some water. Ready. Over.
Gap post. And we have water. So we need to get a tub. Yes. Okay. I don't see any leaking. Does need to be clean down there, but no leaking. I guess let's try out the bathroom now. Sure. I guess I won't be able to see anyway. Okay. Okay. Good. Now. Hey. Gonna... You want to try the shower? No. Okay. Not yet. It was a great trip on the way back. Good trip. Got some stuff taken care of and some systems. Tried to figure out how to use some of them. We uh, hooked up water, made sure there was no leaks. Uh, we haven't done the holding tank and the water pump, just like park water. Uh, we hooked up the shore power, both cords, as you saw earlier, and that went off without a hitch. We um, read the manual on the toilet, got to use that, and then uh, dumping went without a hitch. Forgot to get the GoPro out. I have to do that next time. It uh, it was actually really easy. I, I was impressed. Um, what else did we do, babe? Found out that our bed is um, a concrete block. <laughs> That's got to go. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna get a new bed. We just have to do the measurements to make sure that we can find one that fits back there. And um, we, when we were driving out, we forgot to put down the antenna. And so this man comes running across the circle of the campground and you could just tell from his body language the way he was running, something was wrong, you know, but it snapped too immediately. I remember because I was going through all the, the things that we should have done that the antenna was still up so got that to put down and then as we we're leaving the campground a big storm came through and yet again there are some issues with the windshield wiper but we weren't able to get out at the time because as you can see that one's way higher than that one mm -hmm. and then it goes all the way over to the little and then it gets area. way over here by this antenna where it's not supposed to be over there and it gets caught on this side of the window so when i get to the gas station here in a minute we'll fix that or even like you can show them now i can hold the gopro and you can turn it on because it's starting to rain again so this is kind of what it see how that clicking sound it goes way over there and so it's not and then, supposed to go way over there yeah and then it stops here instead of down here where it needs to be so once we get over to the gas station, if we're able to get in a recovered area, I can hold the GoPro uh, and Mark can show you the mechanisms um, underneath because he looked at it a couple of times. So we'll see. And we have a little leak that's still dropping over on me over here. <laughs> Speaking of the antenna, that was another thing we did. We got the antenna up and got the TV hooked up and got in a couple channels, mostly uh, Spanish. Who did we get to watch speak Spanish? Uh, it was like Matt Damon or something? Oh, no, no. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg <laughs> speaks Spanish. I don't know if anybody knew that. I did not. He doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> I know. And old school Saturday Night Live. Like, oh, yeah. Like, from back in the day. Yeah, original Saturday Night Live reruns. That, that was, was awesome. really cool. 
then we checked out the DVD player and it worked. We haven't had one DVD on hand, so that was cool. And like, actually, and like Brandy said, the, the bed is hard as a rock. Uh, I think it's good for if you're 65 and older, but I don't know. at my age, it's uh, my bones don't want to do that. My shoulders are killing me trying to lay on my side. My back wasn't so bad, but I can't lay on my side because the mattress doesn't give, my body does. <laughs> um, what else did we have, babe? Went for a walk and took some pictures. I'll try to splice those in. Um, met the camp host. Oh yeah, I met Blue, the camp host. His name there. was Blue. He goes, in 1976, I had an Avion. And it's just funny to think back that that's before I was born and he's remembering back to what kind of camper he had. Yeah. That was cool. Uh, got lots of waves. Oh, we had our first Bombard bombardment at the gas station. On the way here, I had to stop. I didn't have to, but I stopped, filled up with fuel just to be safe. Since I'm not familiar with the gauges and if they're how accurate they are, I'm trying not to get under half a tank um, or let it go underneath half a tank. But yeah, it's gonna be a problem, I think, maybe, where you stop at the gas station and 30 minutes later you get to leave. Because everybody and their brother wants to come look at it and look inside. And Leo here, he. Served as a really good guard dog. So got Martin at the guy so he could come in and look inside. Before Martin said, sure, you know, peek your head and take a look. And Leo went crazy and the guy's like, oh yeah, it looks cool in there. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Here we go with the rain again. This is uh, Montgomery. All right guys, as you can see how high this one is compared to how low. And it's this nut right here. So we want it about right there. Are you happy, buddy? How happy are you? How happy are you, buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun. All right, guys. So, back inside after I tighten that up, and here's what it's supposed to look like. You can see how it stops. Probably go down a little bit more. But, uh, what I'm going to do probably when I get some time is take that nut completely off and put some Loctite on it and then get it right where it needs to be and uh, tighten it down and then let it sit and then that Loctite should get it to where it doesn't come loose anymore. Is that like glue? Yeah, for bolts. It's like glue for bolts. Okay. Alright guys, we're going to hit the road again.